This question, if it doesn't look familiar, I'd like you to think about the loans question. It's actually very similar. It's just we're dealing with insects rather than with money. So we've practiced this a number of times. It's a geometric series concept. Now, when we did it with loans, we would always talk about the initial value. So I'm just going to create some letters for things so that it's easier to see what I'm writing. My initial value that I'm starting with, like an initial investment or loan, is 100,000. It doesn't change uh, or get repeated, so I'm going to call that P. My repeating input is actually 5,000 new insects, and it's we're adding it in every, every time. And our change rate is to go down 35%. So I'm going to use my capital R to be one, oh, 0 0.65 to represent I'm keeping 65% each time period. If I were to draw myself a little number line, as you know I like to do, then at the beginning I know I have P insects. As time passes, one period time, I'm going to multiply by R to reduce it to 65% of what I have, but then I'm going to add another M in. And that's what I have at A1. Time passes again, but I add another one in. So at A2, all I need to do is read across my inputs. So A2 equals P times R times R, P R squared plus M times R plus that final M on that last leg. Now A2, they... Um, they want it all in numbers, of course, so I could put my numbers in here, 100,000 times 0 0.65 squared plus 5,000 times 0 0.65 plus 5,000. And for whatever reason, maybe it's just to throw you, they've actually factorized the 0.65 out of the first two terms. So 0 0.65 and then 0 0.65 times... 100,000 plus the 0.65 that came out the front here, so plus 5,000 plus 5,000 again. And that's that first bit. The second show question is to just simply build this up into any number of periods. So um, the AN, I'll just have to hide it for a bit. Actually, I'll just move it up so you can still see what I'm aiming for. Now, I don't want to be trying to build everything up with the numbers, so I'm going to go back to my letters. But I'm also going to add an A3 in because I think it's easier to build the series when you've got just one more piece in there. So reading across the same way, A3 would equal P R cubed, because I have to read that R across three times to get there, plus M R squared plus M R plus M. Now, I want to factorize this bit because this bit is the pattern that I'm seeing and I want to rearrange it. I have one piece, I have R lots of M and I have R squared lots of M, yet I'll keep this out the front. That's my setup to then find AN because A, you can see how the pattern's formed. So AN, instead of having three terms, we'll have N terms. That would be PR to the N because we'd moved that far along. The series would start the same way. That's the other reason for rearranging it is so I can see my series grow. My last term would be r to the n minus 1. But don't forget that there are actually n terms in this series. Uh, when there were three terms, or at a3 there were three terms, so at an there are n terms. To finish this off, uh, I recognize that this is a geometric series, which would have series sum of a being my first term, times r to the n, r is my common ratio, which is still capital R, and m is the number of terms, which is still n, minus 1.